Hey everyone, it's Jonathan Kirkendall in Washington, D.C., and today I'm your meditating psychotherapist. I'm directing a meditation program here at the Washington Shambhala Center. Um, I'm even wearing a tie. Uh, and we're on our lunch break, so I wanted to uh, take this opportunity to answer my friend Melissa's question on empathy burnout. So 30-second therapy on empathy burnout. Ready? Go. Okay. So. The thing that I found so interesting is that empathy and compassion are actually two different things. Um, and they happen in two different parts of the brain. Empathy is the ability to feel other people's feelings. Compassion, on the other hand, is not just an emotional response. It's also um, the reasoned intent um, or a commitment founded on reason to end, end the suffering, right? So um, they work together like a water pump and water. Um, empathy is the water pump, and if it's on go all the time and you're feeling other people's feelings and there's no compassion there, there's no water there, it's going to burn up. Um, compassion, on the other hand, if you only just like intend to end suffering but there's no uh, connection, there's no empathy, uh, then it doesn't go anywhere. So the two actually have to work together. Okay, so empathy and compassion come together uh, to spark skillful action. So um, if you're experiencing empathy burnout, then focus on the compassion. Focus on um, that commitment that you have to end suffering. I'm going to post some uh, uh, compassion exercises um, and practices on my blog site, and I'll, do, I'll let you guys know as soon as that's done. i got to get back into the Shrine Room. Uh, meditation has started, so um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.